quick revision video on the reaction pathways for benzene. So all I'm going to do is reveal what's behind those eight boxes. So that's the order I'm going to do them in with the reagents and conditions for those conversions. So if you want to pause the video and have a go yourself and then play on when you're ready. So number one, benzene and nitrobenzene. You react the benzene with concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid. And it needs to be carried out between 50 and 55 degrees C. Number two, Benzene to bromobenzene, you would react it with bromine, but it needs to be in the presence of a catalyst. So you've got some choices here. AlBr3 or FeBr3 are the ones I'd go for. You can say um, the iron, but that needs to form the catalyst by reacting with the bromine first. Number three, very similar to before, but this time it's for chlorine. So any of those catalysts would do. Number four, benzene two. This is um, an acyl group that's being put onto the benzene ring, so acylation of benzene. So for this specific one, you'd react it with ethanoyl chloride in the presence of AlCl3 catalyst. So acylation, you react your benzene with the relevant acyl chloride with the catalyst. Number five is alkylation. So in this case, we're putting a methyl group on the benzene ring. So you'd react it with chloromethane. And again, it needs to be in the presence of an AlCl3 catalyst. So whatever the alkyl group is you want to put on the benzene ring, you would use the relevant um, chloroalkane that contains that alkyl group. So number six, what they're doing there is they're reducing the carbonyl group in the acyl group to an alcohol. So that's an, an aliphatic reaction, and it's the reaction with NaBH4. Number seven is the reduction of nitrobenzene to phenylamine. So the reducing agent is a mixture of tin and concentrated hydrochloric acid. And finally, phenylamine to that tri-substituted 246 tribromophenylamine, you react it with bromine.